I'm Priyanka Yoshikawa. Continuing from last time, we're bringing you the show from Odawara Castle in Odawara City, Kanagawa Prefecture. This time, <laughs> I'll be introducing the samurai and ninja culture that's a big draw for foreign tourists as well. We'll find out some of the secrets of these feudal warriors. With me is Naoya Asao of the Odawara Tourism Association. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I know many tourists visit Odawara Castle, but are you seeing overseas tourists come back? Before the pandemic, we received many visitors from countries around the world, and with travel restrictions being eased now, we're slowly starting to see them return. What's the most popular to see among foreign visitors? I'd have to say the castle tower over there. But there are also many other fun places inside this park. And especially popular are facilities featuring samurai and ninja. That sounds fun, samurai and ninja. I'd like to go as well. Absolutely. You can actually see one of the facilities over there. It's called Tokiwagimon, and it's themed on samurai. Do you want to have a look? Please. This is the Samurai Museum inside Tokiwagimon. The atmosphere inside feels very grand. It does. This Tokiwagimon facility is on the second floor and it's called the Spirits of Samurai, the heart of the warrior. Inside, we have displays of samurai armor and Japanese katana swords. In addition, we have other exhibits to get visitors to understand the spirit and artistry of samurai. I see, the spirit. There's a lot of different types of armor here. Yes. We display various types of armor. In the Sengoku period, there were many battles. And when fighting, many people lost their lives. So the armor served to protect their bodies from harm inflicted by enemies. But at the same time, they also represented the artistry and spirit of samurai. The craftsmanship is very detailed. So this is the soul of samurai, the katana sword. Yes, it's a Japanese sword. As you mentioned, it's a Japanese art infused with the spirit of samurai. They're used to kill enemies in various battles and to protect oneself. But they were made by master artisans across Japan at the time and reflect their spirit, the times, and regional traditions. And you could say they unify all those spirits into one. In the small theater, Visitors can also experience the spirit of samurai through projection mapping. Mr. Asao, it says I can try out costumes here. Yes, you can. I'd like to try. Unfortunately, yes, you can. Please try. <laughs> Yay, I've been wanting Please. to. Please. I'd love to. There are all kinds, so have a look. OK. Priyanka starts looking for a costume. How will she be transformed? Oh, how does this look? It really fits you well. Really? You're like the last samurai. That makes me happy. It was worth trying it on. How does it feel dressed as samurai and standing in front of the castle? It's fun. Just wearing this. A great memory. So this is the Ninja Museum. Yes. It's called the Ninja Museum. But this building was actually an elementary school hall that was reborn as a facility themed on ninja called Fuma Ninja in 2019. 
so it's been renovated. It's quite popular among foreign visitors as well. Let's go in, please. Yay, I'm looking forward to it. The reason many people come here is... You can become a ninja and sneak into the home of an enemy. You have to sneak in without making a sound. I'm going to give it a try. It's a bit scary. I'm already making sounds. You've been spotted. I'm done. Next, Priyanka tries out an attraction in which she has to defeat enemies with shuriken throwing stars. More, more! 15 seconds left! You did it! Yay! I did it! I was 29. That's among 60 people. So you're a proper ninja. Congratulations! Thank you!